Okay, the change of base formula has many uses, one of them being that it allows us to evaluate all logarithms on the calculators. So I've talked before about the fact that the calculator, the standard TI-83, only has the base 10 and the natural base E. Okay, if we want to evaluate, for example, log base 2 of 12, what we can do is we can convert it to either base 10 or base E. Let me show you how this works. So it says that the log base a of x is equal to the log base b of x divided by log base b of a. So here a, b, and x are positive numbers. And furthermore, a and b can't be 1. And that's because they're bases of the logarithms. Okay, this looks really complicated here, but it's actually quite easy to use. So I talked a little bit ago about uh, evaluating log base 2 of 7. Okay, let's change log base 2 of 7 to base 10. Okay, when I rewrite a logarithm using the change of base formula, I always end up with a fraction. Since I'm going to be using base 10, I'm going to have a log in the numerator and a log in the denominator. So I, remember, I don't write sub 10 because this is the common log, so it's implied that the base is 10. Okay, so first write the log using your new base in the numerator and denominator. The input of your old log is what you're taking the log of in the numerator. The base of your old log is what you're taking the log of in the denominator. Okay, so log base 2 of 7 is equal to the log of 7 divided by the log of 2. Okay, if you plug this into your calculator, you get about 2.81. Okay, let's do one more together for practice. We want to rewrite log base 9 of 21 using base 5. Okay, so we have log base 9 of 21 is equal to, we're using base 5, so we're going to have log base 5 in the numerator and log base 5 in the denominator. The 21 is what we take the log base 5 of in the numerator, and the 9, the old base, is what we take the log base 5 of in the denominator. So log base 9 of 21 is equal to the log base 5 of 21 divided by the log base 5 of 9. Okay, so this, this you can't plug into your calculator in this form, but I just wanted to give you another problem to practice. Okay, try this one here on your own. Note that we don't have to rewrite this in order to evaluate it because we know that it's, it's very easy to solve by inspection. What power we need to raise 3 to to get 27 is the answer. But just to practice the change of base formula and plug it into your calculator, why don't you work on this problem? Okay, so what you have is log base 3 of 27 is equal to the log of 27 divided by the log of 3. If you plug that into your calculator, you get the answer that you were expecting, and that's 3. Okay, 3 cubed is 27. Okay, let me show you the derivation of the change of base formula. Okay, we're going to start by supposing or letting y be equal to the log base a of x. Since these two quantities are equal, a raised to each of these is equal. That is, a to the y is equal to a to the log base a of x. Okay, now a to the log base a of x is equal to x by properties of logs. Okay, so this side here is equal to x. So we have a to the y is equal to x. Now let's take the log base b of both sides. We have log base b of a to the y equals log base b of x. Okay, so since these two quantities are equal, the log base b of these two quantities are equal. Okay, again using properties of exponents, 
or properties of logs, I should say, we can take this exponent and bring it out front. So we have y times log base b of a is equal to log base b of x. Okay, we can solve for y here by dividing both sides by log base b of a. Okay, we're practically done here, and that's because if we remember earlier, y is equal to log base a of x. Okay, so we simply replace this with log base a of x. So we have log base a of x is equal to log base b of x divided by log base b of a. And that is exactly what we wanted to prove.